this is the beat of ct good morning to you my name is jenny boom boom we got dj michi here what up michi what up what up okay and today we have our great friend who we haven't talked to in a couple of weeks jason black from the community renewal team is joining us today hi there jason hello jenny hello Meech. thank you both for the time today so you have an exciting program happening with CRT called the Youth Build Job Training Program. Tell us what's going on with this. Yeah, Youth Build's amazing. Such a cool program. So this is, just as the name implies, it is a job training program for young adults. Uh, it's for folks who are ages 18 to 24 who are eligible um, in Hartford or East Hartford residents who can sign up for the program. And Youth Build Job Training, you are going to get paid while you train uh, and there's training in a few different programs. There's a construction program, which is pretty amazing. We've seen some of the graduates from that program go on to do some really amazing things in the construction field. Uh, certified nursing assistant, you know, CNAs, medical assistants, uh, as well as training to be security guards. Um, all good paying jobs, all jobs that are going to be, you know, in demand and in need. Um, we train you as you go. The one thing that's kind of interesting, Jenny, about this program, uh, for those who do apply, uh, you cannot already have your high school diploma. Mm. Um, however, while you're in the training, we're going to help you get your GED. Ah. So you're going to leave the pro. So you're going to leave the program with the GED, and you're going to leave the program with great job training skills. You get paid a stipend every week while you're part of the program, uh, and then they help you with job placements as well. It's really amazing, and they're recruiting now. So that's why we wanted to talk about it. So, okay, so the criteria besides age um, and no high school diploma, what's the other criteria surrounding Yeah, the, just a really, just a few things. So no high school diploma right now, right? That's fine. We're going to help you get that GED. You need to be 18 to 24 years old. Uh, men and women are eligible. And you need to be a resident of either Hartford or East Hartford in order to qualify. Mm, this is such yeah. a great program. So um, what is the goal of the program? Yeah, the goal of the program really is to create really viable job skills for the graduates who are a part of it, for, you know, for young adults who, you know, maybe college isn't for you, right? Before the show started, we were talking about the fact that one of your children is off looking at colleges now and getting ready, thinking about that. That's awesome. But not everybody's ready for that. And not everybody is necessarily thinking they're going to go to college in the future. And that's cool, too, right? There's plenty of occasions, plenty of opportunities where, you know, let's find you a good long-term job. Like if you can get a job in construction these days, which is such mm -hmm. a hot field, right? And CRT, the, with CRT and youth build, the construction portion of the program is pretty intense. They put you through some serious training and you're gonna leave there with just like incredible, ready to go market ready skills so that you're gonna get hired day one and, and you're gonna be on job sites. We, we had a guy a couple of years ago who he helped to put together Dunkin' Donuts Park. Wow. Right here in wow. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, it was really cool, right? Yeah. And he's got that on his resume now, right? That's something that he got to, he can, you know, he drive by there and like, I helped build that, right? Like, how cool is that? As something for you to be able to say and tell your family and your friends. Um, so no, this program, the, the Youth Build program that CRT helps to run here in the Hartford area, very, very cool. Again, it's for young adults, 18 to 24, no high school diploma right now, but we will help you get your GED. You're going to get paid during the training, right? That's pretty cool too. It's not just, you know, it's not just an internship that's unpaid. This is a paid program and they're going to help you with job placement afterwards and get you in the field that you've trained for. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I feel like having a skill like that is just um, really important. Uh, yes. Anyway, but I was talking to somebody the other day when I was in Boston and um, he was actually asking as we were going on college tours and he just a young person that was working um, in a market and he was asking about colleges. And I said, um, did you attend college here? And he said, no, I didn't go to college. And he, he said it was the best thing. He's like, it's the best decision ever is I don't owe any money now. Right. right. So, well, I mean, not. college is yeah. not for everyone. I didn't go to college and I know Michi, you didn't complete. So, I mean, but we're both doing okay so mm -hmm. the fact that you can learn a great skill is so important my oldest son he does construction he loves it you no know, it's really it's amazing this program comes to us it's through funding from the u.s department of labor so it's a federally funded program we have this contract for the next few years um, we're recruiting now for the spring group of students that'll be part of the program it'll probably be 
you know, somewhere between 12 and 20 students that'll get accepted. You do have to apply um, and they'll walk you through that application. You can get all the details about how to apply on CRT's website at crtct.org. Uh, go under programs and look for youth build and you'll see all the information there. Uh, it's really, it's an amazing opportunity. I really, I love this program. We don't get to talk about it enough. Um, and in part because you know they're they're only recruiting for it a couple times a year, but this happens to be one of their recruiting phases right now. Uh, they want to have that next group of kids ready to go by the end of April, uh, so that they can then have them start the training right away. And they can be, you know, these jobs are going to probably be starting by summer, so it's really good oh, wow. timing. That's yeah, great. that's awesome. So you yeah, mentioned a cool. few different programs within the youth build job training right. program. Do you get to pick what you're most interested in? How does it yeah. work? Yeah, you get to pick the one that interests you the most. And as I mentioned, I'll say again, so there's three different options within Youth Build that we offer. One is construction focused, one is for CNAs, certified nursing assistants or medical assistants, and then the other one is within the uh, field for security guards okay. um, and getting training for that as well. And, and all three, again, needed areas, places where we know there's going to be job growth, where you know there's going to be regular employment opportunities. And these are good, steady paying jobs with benefits. You know, the construction jobs, a lot of those lead into union based opportunities. Right. And those guys and gals that complete those programs, they're set, right? Once you're in a union job for construction, mm. you're going places and right. you're going to have a job that's, a, you know, it's a career at that point. And you're going to be able to do that for the next 20, 30 years. And you're going to be all set. It's, right. and, and as you've probably seen, right? I mean, here in the Connecticut, region uh construction housing new housing construction continues to just be booming mm -hmm. uh so it's a great time to think about something like that if you're looking for uh, a new way to get started find a job right now get some training get paid while you're doing that training youth build is a really way to go really good way to go and again it's for young adults 18 to 24 here in hartford in east hartford and and we're going to pay you while you learn Pretty cool. So you go through the training, you get paid to learn. And after that, do they help transition you into yeah. an actual job? Yeah, that's, they do. They're going to be, you know, there are people on staff with the youth build team who are going to work one on one with you to help oh. you locate uh, a permanent position. That's exactly. Great. And a, a lot of the, the training is also then going to also be do, done in such a way so that you're going to be training, you know, on site, right, with a potential employer. Right. And so there from there, you prove your skills, you prove that you know what you're doing, and that's going to lead to permanent placements. It's really very smart program. So, so just, you know, going over this, that means that when you're going in and doing this training and working, right, you have to really impress these folks, too, meaning mm -hmm. be on time, do what you that's need right. to do in order to be successful in this program. Correct. Yes. No, that's a really good point. And actually, that's a big part of the focus. You're, we, never, we didn't talk about this before, but you're absolutely right, Jenny. A big part of what they do with the training is to really help the, the student who's involved to understand these are the expectations, right, from an employer. These are the things that you're going to need to do. You want to make sure you look good that first thing in the morning when you show up for work. You want to be on time. You don't want to be on your phone all day, right? You've, you've got to be ready to commit to the program and prepare to work and do the work. Mm. Uh, but from there, you're going to be finding yourself moving on to, to do some really cool things. And it's it's a great opportunity. We're, we're very proud to be one of the youthful partners. Uh, and again, we do this for, for kids here in the Hartford and East Hartford area. It's awesome. That's so great. I, I really like that because just for the simple fact that like it's like building a foundation at the end of the day, you know, I think that especially that age group, I talk to a lot of younger kids where it just seems like in that age group, that's kind of like the beginning of trying to figure out like, you know, what you're going to do with your life and how you're going to pivot and you know, so I just think those are like the kind of the golden years where you're trying to find yourself. So I think that this program is amazing, you know, to, to be able to cater to that age group because that age group is like it's kind of a theme there where I'm talking to like you know 21 year olds 22 year olds or just like I just don't know what to do with my life I don't know what to do you know what I mean so to be able to kind of build them somewhat of a foundation you know for their future I think is amazing that's exactly right Meech no it's a really good point and I'm glad you say it it's that's the whole idea right give the folks who are part of youth build a foundation give them a starting point where they can build Right, where they can then take the skills that they're learning, apply them to things in their own life, their daily life, and apply it on the job. 
right? And use those skills as part of a, a stepping stone for a career that's going to take you places for the next 20, 30 years. You can make a lot of good decisions now that are going to carry you really, really far. It's, it's pretty powerful. And, and so, yeah, no, I'm glad you see exactly what we're hoping people are going to understand about that program. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's so great that you're giving youth this great opportunity. So um, again, how do you apply online? Right. So yeah, so the best way, so you won't actually need to apply online, but do visit CRT's website. It's www.crtct.org. Start there, go to the programs section, look for Youth Build. All the details about how to get started are there. There's a phone number that you can call um, and you're, you'll probably talk to a woman named Cynthia who's the program manager and Cynthia is a buddy of mine. She's amazing. You can tell her that I sent you um, and that you heard about it here on B2CT with Jenny and Meech. And it's, it's going to be such a great opportunity. They will get you signed up for like an orientation uh, that you'll go to and you'll experience what it's all about and you'll learn about the options and, and you'll, you'll fill out an application at that point. The offices uh, for the program are over on Main Street in Hartford. Uh, and again, all that detail is on the website and you can get that there. That's great. So I heard through the grapevine, you have some updated info on the yeah. energy assistance program, <laughs> Jason. So what's yeah. going on with the energy assistance program oh and this updated this so info? Crazy. Yeah, no, this, this makes me very, very happy. And you know, this is one of my favorite topics. So. You love talking about the energy assistance program. And that's oh, great, it's though. So, it's a really wonderful program. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm glad you agree. It's valuable as all get out. And here's the cool part. We just found out at the end of last week, uh, the deadline to apply for energy assistance here in the state of Connecticut has been extended, <gasps> yay, until June 15th which is really amazing. Normally this program, the cutoff is early May. Um, they've done an additional extension. The, the deliverable fuel, uh, those deliveries have been extended until May the 20th, um, so, which is good. Um, and, and so time is being added to make sure that people who need fuel deliveries are gonna happen right up until late May, but you can still apply until the end of June. Uh, or middle of June, forgive me, uh, June 15th. So is this is, is for, just Go to ahead. be clear, is this for next year or? No, this now, this is right now. So you can still fill up for this year and keep it in your well, oil tank. You're gonna or... fill up for, you're gonna fill up your tank one more time this spring, right? Okay. Before summer hits. And then, I mean, here's the thing, right? I mean, if you happen to heat with oil or propane, right? During the summer months, you're not gonna be using that to heat your home. So most of that delivery that you receive is going to sit there in the tank over the summer, right? Unless maybe it's connected to your hot water and that's going to use some of it, right? But but you're not going to use all of it over the summer months. So right. you come to the fall and you start to get back into the colder months, you're already going to have a that cushion, little jump start. Yeah. Right. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah. No, this is huge. This is for for families here in Connecticut, both homeowners and renters are eligible. Um, as we've talked about before on the show and we can go over it again, the um, you know the income eligible for the program are really very, very generous. Um, the biggest part of the news, though, is just the fact that the deadline to apply has been extended by the state of Connecticut till uh, it's, it's June the 15th, which is a Tuesday. Um, you have plenty of time to do that application and to find out if you're eligible for energy assistance. And if you are, why not take advantage of it? Right. right? It's a free program and it's going to help pay your home heating expenses at a urgent time. You know, we know a lot of folks out there are still struggling, right? They're still trying to figure out how they're going to make ends meet. If you can have one bill taken off the table right now and, and let some, let the state help pay for it. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. You know, you fill your energy. If you have an oil tank at home and you need to fill it, that's a $500 charge. Easy. Maybe more. Beforehand, right? <laughs> right, right, and that so you know you don't. I'm want one of those people anything. like I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're gonna say no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they don't do that with oil and gas. You can get away with that for a little while, but not with oil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and one of the things as well, and we I know we've talked about this, Jenny, before too. You know, in addition to oil, the the things that you can use to heat your home, it's it's a huge list. It's oil, it's propane, it's gas, it's kerosene. Wood pellets, if you heat with electric, that's an option too. There's so many ways that are eligible to receive this support. And again, as we've talked about the income levels for those who are eligible, it's very, very generous. A single person living alone 
you can earn up to $37,000 and change per year and be eligible. That's you have so a, household of, a household of four, the income level is up to $72,000 and change. That's pretty decent, right? Yeah. That's a, that affects a lot of families. And people don't realize that. I mean, that's what I've been sort of trying to make sure people understand as I talk about this program throughout the winter months and now here into the spring, thankfully, finally, um, the, those who are eligible to receive this help, it's a lot more people than might have even realized. Right. And it, it, so why not find out, right? And CRT can help you do that application, which is the cool yeah. part. We can help you over the phone. We can help you through email or, or if, you, if you're up for it and you're willing, you can come to our office and do an in-person application. That office is at 395 Wethersfield Avenue in Hartford. Um, and there's folks who are there who will sit with you and they'll walk you through all the paperwork and help you get it done. Okay. Well, you guys are great. And you're back in your office, Jason. So I am back in my office. Yeah. He's like, yeah, nowhere at home. But I, I, are you liking getting out of the house every day a little bit here? Because I mean, that was the thing for me and meet you when we, I mean, we were only home for nine weeks at the very beginning, but for me, it okay. was like, I need, I was like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was just me though. I mean, you know. I was, I was okay working from home. I didn't mind it at all. I, okay. I, I'm, I, I figured out a way to make it work. You know, obviously there's some of the distractions at home for folks right. drinking the dogs there and wants to play and, yeah. you know, and it, you, you, you want to glance at the news and think, but no, the, the office is good. It, it's good to be back with my coworkers, right. right. And to actually see faces and not just talk to people through email and through voicemail and stuff like that. So no, that's, that's been a nice change. Okay. Um, it is, you know, it is a little weird to not know whether it's night or day outside, but, um, but that's, you know. <laughs> oh, you don't have a, you don't have a window? No I don't have a window on the real world. No, oh. I have, a, I have a, a bit of a fishbowl that looks into the cubes next to me. But yeah, we we, we don't have a window in the studio yeah, either. I never know what's going yeah. on. So <laughs> yeah. Um, well, thank you so much, Jason Black. Thank so again, guys. it's the Youth Build a Job Training Program. If you want to get involved in this Youth Build Job Training Program, they are accepting applications now. And of course, also if you need any help with that energy assistance program, uh, they extended their deadline until June. So you have a chance uh, to get some help with that too. Give us the website. Yeah, one more time. Both of those programs, you can find details about energy assistance and youth build on CRT's website. New and improved website. It's very exciting. It looks beautiful. Check it out. It's www.crtct.org.org. Go to the programs page, look for energy assistance under basic needs, go to youth build, which I think is under like the jobs and training section. Uh, and you can get all the information you need about those programs and how you can how you can apply. Also for energy assistance, Jenny, just real quick, there is a, a hotline number. We'll just give that out real quick. 860-560-5800. Uh, 860-560-5800 is the hotline. There are call center there. The reps, they speak English, they speak Spanish. And if you don't get a person, leave a message. I promise you they're going to call you back. Yeah, and it's private. Just and it's be private. private. Right. No, be it's totally, on it's totally no one's going to know your business. No one will know That's your right. business. That's right. Yeah. And it's such a valuable program. And if you need a little extra help right now financially,